Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Get Cooking with Chef John, straight from the Cutting Edge Classroom Cooking School. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to make butternut squash pot stickers. Yes, that is a thing. Perfect for the fall. So I'm going to start out with some cooked butternut squash that we mashed and we roasted this. Olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, I'm going to add garlic, diced ginger, soy sauce, rice vinegar, a little bit of red pepper flakes, more or less to spice it up, and some green onion. I'm going to reserve some of this green onion um, for serving. Then I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up real nice. Get that all together, looking good. These are really delicious and they're kind of sweet and savory. Get this up. Okay, then I'm going to make a sauce with sesame seed, rice vinegar, soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, and some green onion. And that's going to be our dipping sauce. Real simple. Um, you could use low sodium soy sauce if you want. If you don't want them real, real salty, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to take a pre-made wrapper right here. I'm going to take some of this filling. I'm going to put it right in the middle. Just like that. And we're going to do a real simple fold on these. A little bit of water. Then I'm just going to take it and fold it over like such. I'm going to squeeze it out a little so we make sure we get it all the way to the ends, the filling. Then I'm just going to press it together like so. And you could do various shapes with these. This is just one simple shape. And there it is. We're ready to cook. And you just repeat the process with these. Make as many as you want. This will probably make around 40, this recipe. So you're going to get plenty of them. Okay, so now we're going to get these cooking in a you want to use a good heavy saute pan, uh, non-stick preferred for this. I added a little bit of oil, and that's just vegetable oil. I'm going to toss in my pot stickers. And you want these on high heat. A little bit more oil on top. And we just want to lightly brown these. Just like so. The filling is already cooked, so we don't have to worry about that part. So we're just basically heating it through. Then we're going to finish them off with a little bit of steam by adding some water. Look at that. And they are done. See how fast that was? We're going to go ahead and put them on our plate. Boy, are they pretty. A Little bit of green onion on top, just for garnish. And there you have it, butternut squash pot stickers, just in time for fall. I hope you guys enjoy this. The recipe will be on WVLT's website under Let's Get Cooking. Have a good day. Bye.